Um, this is just a little quick explanation of geocaching because a lot of people don't still quite get what it's about. So basically, uh, we're at the entrance at the moment up on the central coast and we've just decided to go for a walk and I pulled out my iPhone which has a great application on it called geocaching, good name, and if you just come a little bit closer here you can see that all I've done is search and it's telling me where the geocache is. And what it does is it tells, shows me where I am, because this has got a GPS in it, and it shows you where the cache is. And this is the geocache, or this particular geocache. They're all different. I found another one this morning that was quite different to this. But that's just a little plastic box. And you can see if I open it up, that it's got stuff inside it. So it's got uh, a log, which in this case is just a piece of paper, which you sign and leave a comment on. And this one's got some little trinkety things, some just some, you know, Pieces. The idea being that if you find the cache, you put something in and you take something out. If you've got nothing to put in, then that's okay, you just don't take anything out. Just sign the logbook. That was a muggle. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're doing the geocaches, the idea is to not get spotted by people who aren't into geocaching. Otherwise, they kind of wonder what's going on. So this is the cache. We found it right here, in this case was hidden just under the bridge here. Um, so as we're walking along the path, the, the GPS was telling me where to stop and we got onto the bridge and as we walked across the bridge, it said you're right on top of it. So we just hunted around and there it is. So we found it and it just goes under here. Muggle alert. Muggle alert. Talk to you later. <laughs>